Ah, in this video, we're going to be looking at shifting the sine and cosine graphs. So you'll notice that we have the y equal to sine x graph, which is in red. We've drawn this in the previous video. And what we want to do now is draw the graph of y equal to sine x plus 1. So to start off, we're going to use our calculator. At 0, we're going to type sine 0 plus 1. And if we type sine 0 plus 1, we should get 1. At 90, we're going to type sine 90 plus 1. If we type sine 90 plus 1, we should get 2. We go to 180, we're going to type sine 180 plus 1, and that should give us 1. 270, we're going to type sine 270 plus 1, and that should give us 0. At 360, we're going to type sine 360 plus 1, and that should give us 1. And we're going to join these dots to get our sine graph. And that is the graph of y equal to sine x plus 1. So what is the difference between sine x and sine x plus 1? You will notice that the graph, the red graph, has moved up by 1 unit. So we see a vertical shift of the graph. So our conclusion here is y is equal to sine x plus q. So q shifts the graph up or down. If it's plus 1, it will go up. If it's negative 1, the graph will move 1 unit down. So looking at sine x plus 1. So if we look at our range, the range on the original graph was minus 1 to 1. So the range of the new graph means we're going to increase it by 1. So minus 1 plus 1 is 0, and 1 plus 1 is 2, which you can see on the graph as well, 0 to 2. The amplitude of the graph, so if we find the midline, the halfway, or the middle line of the sine graph, it will be right at this point that I'm looking at, and from here to the top is 1 unit. So the amplitude is still 1. So you'll notice Q does not affect the amplitude of the graph. Moving on to the cos graph, Y equal to cos X, that's drawn for you. And we want to draw Y equal to cos X minus 2. From our previous slide, you will notice that we said that Q affects the graph in terms of vertical movement. This graph will move two units down. So we're not going to use a calculator. We're going to take each point here and move it two units down. So the first point is at 1. And if we move it two units down, 1, 2, it goes to negative 1. The next point needs to move two units down. It's sitting at 0. So it should move to 2. This point here that you see at 180 is at minus 1. We're going to move it 2 down. It goes to minus 3. At 270, the point is at 0. So we move it 2 down. It should go to negative 2. At 360, the point is at 1. We're going to move it 2 down. And that should take us to negative 1. And if we join these dots, we should get the graph of y equal to cos x minus 2. So you see that the graph has shifted 2 units down. And that is what the negative 2 indicates. So... What is our range of this graph? The range of the original cos graph was minus 1 to 1, which move, means now that we're going to move the range 2 units down. And if we move it 2 units down, the negative 1 will move to negative 3, and the positive 1 moves to negative 1. So the range of this graph is minus 1 to minus 3. I should have written it the other way around. My apologies, it should say minus 3. To negative 1. It's good to have your smaller number come in first. And if we look at the amplitude of the graph, if we find the midline, the halfway line till the top is still one unit. Thank you. And this is the shifting of the sine and cos graph. 